Hello and welcome to Nick's Allotment Diary. One of the problems I've been having in the greenhouse is an attack of green fly on my red peppers and chilies. If you have a look at the leaf of this pepper you can see it's covered in green fly. So what I've decided to do is take the plunge and buy some biological control. So I've bought some lacewing larvae. They're supposed to polish off over 300 green fly a day. So I'll show you what I've bought. So they come in this rather unpromising looking cardboard package and the larvae, if I peel back the scores, are within this cardboard cocooned honeycomb type area. Um, I'll show you an example of one if it appears close. There's one. So what I'm going to do is sprinkle them over the pepper plants and see it says the control should take place within two to three weeks in there I'll show you me putting them on so what I'm going to do is just sprinkle some of the larvae on each of my plants my pepper plants in the greenhouse. Apparently there's over 500 larvae in this package and I'll just leave the cardboard package in the greenhouse and let them do their work. Here's a short update on the lacewing larvae in the greenhouse. It's four days later now. I don't know whether you can see that one. The peppers now seem to be relatively clear of green fly there are still a few but nowhere near as many here's an example of the lacewing larvae and as you can see he's hunting out a green fly and soon he'll turn himself into an adult lacewing and lay eggs and hopefully this now should manage the population and the peppers should thrive. Don't the calendulas look good in the evening light? That lovely orange. The peas are looking good. Lovely fat pods, just ready for harvest. lovely sweet juicy peas. Right I'm just going to plant some leeks in the bed with the sweet corn and the sunflowers. I've created some holes that I'm going to use to plant the leeks in. There's a row of holes. I've used a ball planter to create the holes and here are my leeks. These are variety Musselburgh. So what I've done is I've put one of the plants in each of the holes and I'm going to what's known as puddle them in which basically means to water them in 
but not fill the holes in. The, the holes will fill in naturally uh, with soil as it rains. Thanks very much for joining me at Nick's Allotment. I'll see you again next time.